to today's Be Healthy report. The rising number of kids with ADHD. The New York Times crunched some numbers from the CDC and found that 11% of school-aged children have been diagnosed. Some startling numbers there. But what is a parent to do when to get those numbers? Is medication always the answer? Or what about parents that want to take a more natural approach? Well, Jared Scourin is a naturopathic physician. He's here now with some ideas. You always bring us great approaches if people want to avoid necessarily just jumping to the pharmacy and getting another medication in their you know, repertoire. Right. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about the fact that these diagnoses apparently not necessarily always coming from a physician's office. What would the other source be? Well, the, the major push for this increase in diagnoses is actually coming from our school systems because hmm. we have kids who have behavioral problems or who are who are hyperactive and the teachers tell the parents your kid has ADHD go and get some medication so they go to their pediatrician who doesn't evaluate them just signs the script gives them the diagnosis so insurance will pay for the drugs and now we've got this huge increase of numbers so it doesn't necessarily mean it's happening more it's just someone making that suggestion it's not necessarily verified and bam you've got more kids on medication exactly what's happening what about lifestyle factors? I mean, things have changed. It's not just, you know, the days of reading books and playing hangman. I mean, things are right. much different now for kids. They are. And the, the stimulus that we're, we're using to train our children, I mean, the, the television shows, the video games, even our, our iPhones and our iPads, we are giving stimulus to kids all day long. And then we sit them in school and ask them to do fractions and read a book. Mm. And they're not ready for that. We're training them to be fast-paced, fast-paced, fast-paced. And what I, I have a seven-year-old. Seven Is he seven? Yeah. Um, and he always says, oh, this is boring, this is boring. But right. put them on Minecraft on the iPad and, you know, so they're used to that stimulation. They're also exactly. used to a different kind of food than many years ago. A lot of sugar, a lot of food dyes, a lot of, you know, all that sort yeah. of thing. You have some suggestions about that. Well, I do, and, and I want people to understand how much food, excuse me, how much sugar is really in our food nowadays, and, and you need to count it. So I brought together what would be a bad diet. So I brought some Pop-Tarts that somebody might have for breakfast with a glass of orange juice and a packaged lunch. So the amount of sugar in these foods, if a child eats, eats these foods for breakfast and lunch. And lots do, lunch, by the way. And lots do. It equals an entire two-bag pound of sugar. What? So in five days of this food, you've got two pounds of sugar. It's no wonder we're hyperactive. I no wonder the food we're gaining dyes. weight. Exactly. My goodness. The epidemic of childhood I... obesity. Two problems. So you do this for every week for 50 weeks, that's 50 bags of that sugar in a year. Okay, that, that right there, wow, does that ever put things in perspective? Right. Uh, you've also come up with an idea, maybe calm them down or, or at least get them in, in a different mind frame with some drinks. Exactly, and, and the second thing I brought here are a couple teas that you can get at your supermarket. One of them is, is a chamomile or a mint tea, mm -hmm. and the other is some type of sleepy tea, like a sleepy time tea. You can make iced tea out of this, you can make hot tea out of this, whatever your child will drink give it to them for breakfast, put it in their thermos for lunch at school, and it's going to naturally and very mildly help calm them down and relax them. The more relaxed they are, the more focused they'll be. Definitely, and again, sticking with that natural theme. Right. Okay, and finally, these are not medications. Correct, these are vitamins. Okay, these are vitamins, good. Um, so the three vitamins that I use most in my practice, the first one is called Spectrum Awakening, which is a great all-in-one combination of all the vitamins, all the minerals, and all the proteins your brain needs to calm down. So it really calms down that hyperactivity, helps them focus in school, helps their behavior, helps them sleep. The second one is called InGear. It was actually formulated after a French study that shows vitamin B6 and magnesium help relax children and calm them down. And the final one, which is probably the most well-known, is fish oil. Uh, and this is ah, a company out of Suffield, Connecticut. That now. Yeah. Fish oil is really great. It helps kids focus and concentrate and learn a lot. Are parents saying they're finding results with their kids taking this instead of the, going the medication route? Yeah, and a lot of parents want to avoid the medications unless it's, it's an emergency mm -hmm. or a last-ditch effort. So we use the vitamins first, and for about 90% of the kids, they work. And for those 10% of kids who need the meds, they're always there. Yeah, and I was going to say, sometimes kids do need the meds. That's We're just true. saying if that's not necessarily the case, there's right. another option. Do everything you can for your child. Perfect. Jared, thanks so much. Great thanks, ideas. Jared. All right.